Hi everybody. Myself Dr. Abbas Vatoli, Assistant Professor, Amal College of Advanced Studies, Nilam. This video is about PG Project Data Analysis using MS Excel. In the first part, I will be explaining about how getting the data set ready for analysis. That means how the data collected through a questionnaire can be entered into MS Excel. And similarly, how you can transform a ratio scale variable into a categorical variable. And similarly, how you can convert a qualitative variable into a quantitative variable. And similarly, how you can combine different variables into a summary variable, etc. have been discussed in this module. So the first we can start with, I have collected responses from 30 households. My topic is household satisfaction towards waste management services in Malapram municipality. So these are my variables. I have collected age in the ratio scale variable and then I will be grouping them into a categorical variable. This is years of education or years of schooling. This again I want to convert into a categorical variable. This is occupation. This is already collected in a categorical scale. And this is monthly income. It is collected in the actual values. That is ratio scale. I want to convert it into a categorical variable for getting a dis income wise distribution. Similarly, this is another variable. This is actually the statement, three statements used to measure the attitude of the household towards waste management. So this is measured in the Likert scale and then this I want to convert into quantitative values just like strongly agree 5, agree 4 just like I will be coding them into a numerical scale. This I want to find out the mean score of attitudinal score and this here I want to convert these based on these attitude and the score whether their attitude is positive or negative. I will be doing this. And this is the satisfaction. It is actually measured in the rating scale from 1 to 10. 10 indicate the highest level of satisfaction. 1 lowest level of satisfaction. This is just to uh, sum all these statements to get the overall satisfaction score. And this is a ranking question. The method of waste management, they were asked to rank these three methods in one, two, three. So we can start with this. This is the age group. So I want to group the age into different groups. For this purpose, I am using the filter option that is available in the data tab. This is the filter. Now the filter is on. First, I am sorting this age from smallest to largest and my formula is I want to take up the household up to 35 age is taken as young. So I am typing young here and dragging this up to 35. Then 36 above I am taking it as middle, middle age. This is up to 55. I have this rule. Then above 55, I am saying it as old. Old. So I am typing it and I am dragging using the fill handle to copy the same text. This is education level. Next, I want to convert years of education. Again, I am sorted from lowest to highest. Then up to 9th standard. I want to make them as low. Education level is low. So I have done the same way. Low up to this. From 10th standard onwards, I am saying moderate, moderate level of education. So this is again copied up to 12th level. From degree onwards, 15 years of education onwards, I am saying it is high level of education. So high then I am copying it. The next, this is income. Income is actually measured in the actual values, how much monthly income they are earning. So I want to convert it to them in categorical scale for getting some classification. For this purpose, to understand the classification level, 
I want to find the minimum value and maximum value in this series. So I am using this auto sum function. Minimum is 15,000 and the maximum of this series is 52,000. So based on this, I am making a classification. Say, first I am sorting this data set from smallest to largest, same as previous. Then up to 20,000, I am taking it as lower income group. Lower up to 20,000. Then 21 to 40,000, I am taking this middle income group. Okay? Middle income group. It is up to 40,000 actually. It is up to 40,000. This is middle income group. Then above 40,000, I am saying upper income group. Okay, the next is, uh, this is attitude. I am measuring attitude three statements. So, these are measured in the Likert scale. So, I want to convert them into quantitative values. So, I am just copied that and pasted here. Pasted here. Then, I am using this control H that is find and replace function. In this, I am giving that strongly agree. To be replaced with 5 that is my formula or rule and I am also ticking these two options to make it perfect so 14 items have been replaced as that then next is agree agree should be replaced with 4 that is again another rule that is replaced 29 replacement is made in the order neutral 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 is to be replaced with the three then disagree need to be replaced with the disagree need to be replaced with the two then finally strongly disagree should be replaced with the one strongly disagree should be replaced with the one now this variable is being converted into quantitative values we can see this so this is the attitudinal score that is actually the average of these three statements just selecting or average from the auto sum so i got this as four just like i'm drag copying it by clicking on the plus button so that is ready then based on this attitudinal score i want to categorize the respondents into the positive or negative so i have sorted this variable from lowest to highest then my rule is those whose attitudinal score is less than three is taken as negative attitude and three or above is taken as positive attitude so i am classifying just like so i got that a categorization Finally, we have one more arrangement is to be done. This is the satisfaction. Different statement has been used to measure the satisfaction. To find the overall satisfaction score, I just want to sum this score. This is collected in 9 point rating, 10 point rating scale. 10 means highest satisfaction, another 1 means lowest satisfaction. Now this also. Now this data set is ready for further analysis. The next our discussion is about pivot tables, how to generate tables 